Hello, beautiful people of the world. My name is Erin Elizabeth Lamberg. Thank you so much for choosing to be here with me today. Today, I'm going to talk about letting go. Why is it so hard to let go? Why am I afraid to let go? Any of all of that. Okay, so first thing is we need to examine why can't we let go of something. So whenever we have a block or we don't feel like we can do something or something feels like it's unattainable or not realistic for us, it's because we are letting that go means it challenges a belief that we are invested in. So we're invested in something that seems like it's contradictory to actually being able to doing some type of action. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking about letting go of something, someone, a relationship, a job, a thought process, a habit. This can apply to any of that. So first, why can't we let things go? There's two things that are going on. So first one is we have attached our own worth or identity or sense of self, or we are so over-invested in that thing that we don't know who we are without that person, thing, job, object. This can also apply to if you have a trauma story, if you have a limiting belief, if you have a lack mindset. So even something that seems like is harming us to keep holding on to it, to keep making it real. If we're so invested in who we are with that attachment, even if it's not something we want, we will never be able to let that thing go. And so the first thing is to understand that I can't let this go if I think I don't know who I am or I'm not gonna like who I am or I'm not gonna know who I am if I let this thing go. So that's the first reason why we can be hesitant to let something go, to release something, to move away from something. And the second reason is we're afraid we don't trust god or our higher power or the universe or whatever language you use for it we don't trust <clears throat> that if we let something go if we release something for us that god or the universe or spirit or source or whatever you call it can replace it for us we're afraid if it's not this then there's no way in hell i'm going to be given something better even if this particular thing really isn't serving me that much, even if I'm crying a lot, even if it feels really painful, even if it feels anything like that. So this mindset is, you know, it usually comes from, it's a learned pattern and it usually comes from a place of being afraid of not trusting ourselves, not trusting God. But with this, we really have to think about if I really believe in God as an all merciful, all loving, all compassionate being that God is, if I really believe that, do I really believe that if I let go of something that isn't serving me, that isn't for my highest good, that I will not get something better? Of course, the answer is no. But when we're stuck in that emotional process, it's not easy to see that. It's not easy to connect to that, to that idea. So it is a lot of re-questioning within ourselves, right? So do I really believe in God as this all merciful being? Do I really believe that the universe wants what's best for me? Do I really believe in an abundant universe? Okay, if you don't actually believe in that, then you can never bring something to you that will actually serve you in the long term. You will never believe that God or the universe is capable of replacing what you can feel in your body is not a match for you anymore. And so it's, that's more of a subconscious dialogue. And so it's more just reminding ourselves of that um, when we're trying to let something go. So it's not so much of like changing your belief that, you know, that God isn't, you know, trying out to punish me or suffer me or anything like that. It's more of just reminding ourselves like, yes, God is all merciful, all compassionate, all amazing and wants to bring the best for me. Yes, I live in an abundant universe where anything is possible and this can be brought to me and what I want is on its way towards me. So it, a lot of the time it's just reminding ourselves of that and then getting out of our own way when we try to let something go instead of just being so stuck in this mindset of, if I let this go, nothing better can come to me. And a lot of times what can happen is we're so focused on this thing that we don't want that until we let that go, there's no way the energy of something, what we do want can come into our field because we're so blocked and we're so focused on this thing that we do have, all these other things can't come to us. And so we have to get clear that like, okay, if I don't let something go, there's no space for this new thing I want to come into my life. So a lot of times we'll feel more comfortable if we have physical reality proof that, okay, I let this thing go, or I'll let this thing go once I know that I have this replacement thing. But sometimes part of faith is, you know, walking with the heart and not with the eyes. And part of that means that I need to let this go and have so much faith and trust in that 
God loves me for who I am as a, a spiritual being who deserves the best. The universe is an incredibly abundant, amazing, creative place that some creative possibility can happen that I can't even be aware of in my own limited mind. And trusting that and then knowing, okay, if that's really what I believe, then I need to move forward with that. And this isn't about being reckless. This isn't about being like, <laughs> you know, I live in an abundant universe, so I can just blow $10 million and then, you know, not have to be responsible for anything ever. Obviously, I'm not saying that, but this is just about taking action of like, how much am I trying to control this so much to the point that I can't let what I want be brought to me because I'm so focused on making sure every single thing is lined up and ready to go. So maybe you can't let it go right away. Maybe you do need a plan. Maybe you do need, you know, like, okay, once I have this much money saved up, then I can quit my job. Or, you know, once I have somewhere to live, then I can leave this relationship where we're living together. So it might take a little bit of time to figure out the details, but you don't have to wait until the exact next best thing is in your life for you to be able to let go of the thing that's not serving you. So that's a big test of our faith. And so for a lot of um, my highly sensitives out there, you know, sometimes the a limiting belief we can tell ourselves is don't I have to, isn't like, you know, part of why I'm here, I have to have patience and endure and not everything is amazing right away and I shouldn't let everything go just because it's hard for a second. Totally agree, totally with you on that. But for most highly sensitive people, most people who come from families where there is some type of trauma involved or if you had difficulties where you had enmeshment growing up and you're not really clear on who you are, Sometimes we can use enduring as an excuse to not stand up for ourselves. We can use it as an excuse to stay in something that doesn't serve us because we don't believe that we actually can have a peaceful, abundant, amazing thing that we want. And it says like, well, this is as good as, as this is as good as it's going to get. So I need to stay here in this space in this way because there's no way the universe, God, spirit can bring me the thing that is actually peaceful for me. So sometimes the lesson is staying through and enduring, and there definitely are hard times in our life um, where it is important to stay through some bumps and move forward with that. But you are smart enough and you can feel in your intuitive body when it is time for you to stay in something and you can feel it's just a rough patch and you can feel when it's time for you to let something go. You can feel when it's run it when it has run its course. You can feel when it's no longer serving you. You can feel that it's just crushing your soul and is not for your highest good and is just so much suffering that you do not need to be going through anymore. And so when that's the case, you need to ask yourself, am I enduring this because I know that there's going to be something better when I get through this? Or am I enduring this as a way to punish myself and because I don't believe something better can be for me? So getting clear about that, getting honest with yourself. And then the last thing I want to say about letting go is it doesn't feel good. <laughs> so even if letting go of something is the right thing for you, you're at the place in your life where you need to leave a job, you need to leave a relationship, you're ready to not have this limiting belief be part of your reality anymore, anything like that. It can feel so bad to let go, even if it's the right thing, because we are emotionally invested in that. That thing was part of us, part of our being, how we saw ourselves, how we created our identity, part of our life path for however long, even if it's just a month, a year, 10 years, I don't know. But this thing we have, we see ourselves in that thing and we see the way of who we are has been created around that interaction with that thing for us. And so when we let go, it's still painful. A loss we choose is still a process. A loss we don't want in our lives anymore is still a process. Setting boundaries and standing up for ourselves and releasing something that had impact on who we are as a person is a process. And so I'm not going to sit here and act like letting go feels like the best thing ever and it's totally amazing and you will feel totally zened out and amazing all the time. That's not the truth. You can still know it's the right decision and it still hurts like hell. That's just how things go. That's life. It's part of being human. It's part of our test. It's part of how we move forward and grow and change. And so it's like, if you are able to make that decision and to let something go, even though it feels very challenging, very triggering, very limiting, very fearful, but you know in your gut it's the right decision, then that will serve you so much more and you will have shown yourself that you know how to choose yourself, you know how to stand up for yourself, you know how to listen to your own intuition and be there for yourself way more than this thing that is right here that I feel like I need to keep in my life just because it's been a pattern or a habit in my life for so long.
So it's really about being honest with yourself. It's about being like, is this really serving me or am I just staying here because it's habit? And being peaceful about it. If, it. if you feel like you need to let something go and it feels really chaotic and panicky and like, oh my God, I just need to get this out of my energy field, that's probably coming from a place of fear. But if you feel in your gut, it's just this knowing that is not moving, it's very steady, it's very sturdy, it's very clear. Um, maybe you're resistant to the possibility of letting this certain thing go. It's probably time to let something go. It takes a lot of strength to let something go, to be honest with yourself, to grow past something, to release it. So please know that I understand you are really doing something big here. You are standing up for yourself. You are challenging things. You are challenging internal beliefs and connections and all the ways you've been connected to this thing you're letting go. And so I understand that that is a process. And so I honor that. And I'm so proud of you for making a decision that serves you. Okay, that's everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you ever want any information about how to work with me, book a session, anything like that, um, all that is linked in the description box below. And thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day.